That's uh, Elton John, The Lost Chord, and J- JD is here. Good morning, sir. You like the earlier songs? Uh, yes, we were talking about the earlier songs of Elton John. I think it's because I'm an old fuddy-duddy. <laughs> uh, that's why I uh, boil it down to that uh, the older songs, because I was at college at the time, yeah. and I was listening to Elton John, and I gave all my Elton John <laughs> uh, albums to a friend of mine, and he gave me all his uh, Genesis and Super Tramp and that sort of thing. So that changed my outlook on just playing one <laughs> right. artist right. but the earlier numbers I think are much more meaningful because he was so to say new to the game yes so now he's been around for X amount of years you know um, he's still good you know there's, there's no two ways about it but I just fancy the old ones myself okay well we will maybe find the old ones now and mm. again but I, I think we've got to, got to stay with him as best we can mm-hmm. try and work out what he's doing yeah there must be a reason for it all well, probably is. That uh, thing called retirement. <laughs> <laughs> OK, he's hoping to retire. <laughs> he's just got to do a few more albums. Yes, he's just got to do it slowly. I think that's the way a lot of these bands sort of are here one minute and gone the next. And yeah. you say, well, where's that band gone? You know, they haven't heard them for years yeah. and then they've retired, you know. So it's too, nice to do it gradually, you know. Right, OK. So if you're going to stop, you just need a world tour taking three or four years. Yeah. To so do we, when we finish the wild show, we do yep. a world tour. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, so and we could do a similar studio. Uh, uh, yeah. so, so, sorry, a similar show in another studio. We could do. Yes. We're prepared to. Yes. Okay. Well, that's quite a good idea. Hmm. Because we got some very um, difficult questions to answer, mm-hmm. which may need several goes at them. Mm-hmm. For example, do you think last weekend was a lost weekend? Can last you, weekend was a lost weekend. What was it? Fi- I couldn't find it. Do you, do you remember very much about the last oh, weekend? Oh, the lost <laughs> I thought you meant... You asked me well, the there was question. a last weekend about a year, of, a year and a bit ago. Mm. It was in the autumn, wasn't it? Not last mm. year, the year before that. Mm-hmm. There was a lost weekend in Exeter. Right. Well, well, let's say, well, thinking about either that, what can you remember about that? Or... The last weekend that's just gone. The last weekend just gone has just gone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's probably it's it's not it's not really uh, so it's in history, shall we say? Okay. So whatever you've done last year, this time last year, yep. is only um, a memory. Okay. So so if you're looking forward to, to say next week, yep. yes, it's a forward memory. But it's not reality yet. No, but you can imagine it. You can imagine what to do and make a big list of what you're going to do. Right. But whether it happens is another thing altogether. Well, perhaps it's that, that's, that's probably a better way to think about the lost weekend. Yes, I think so, because we, we tend to um, promote things left, yes. right and centre. Yes. And then you get to the day, and the day is completely different. Ah, you yes. see, that's the thing. So, so you have to you have to say you you can expect this to happen. Yeah. But if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. So we're better off, really, from a radio point of view, talking about things which might happen in the future, because then people won't be disappointed if it if it ne- well if it never arrives, uh, they might be disappointed, but they can't blame us for it. No, it's like waiting for Father Christmas, and he doesn't come. And there you are, expecting him to come down the chimney and give you hundreds of presents, yep. and he doesn't come. He doesn't come. You see, and then that's it. So your expectation of what you think is the answer to the to the problem yep. is sort of wish-washy at the moment. OK, OK. Well, I think I can, I think I can stay with that thought, mm-hmm. because I had imagined that the last weekend might have been last weekend, mm. because there was a, a games event here in the Phoenix mm-hmm. for which Tech Exeter organised mm-hmm. and then there was a, a Minecraft event in the museum mm-hmm. which is next door yeah. and um, some people would have gone to both I'm sure mm-hmm. so that would make up a weekend mm-hmm. and uh, as I remember it the last weekend was about graphics or mm-hmm. music or mm-hmm. art on top of technology mm-hmm which I think is a, an interesting idea anyway, because when we went to bet, there was no sign of steam, really. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's to say, putting the arts into STEM. 
Mm -hmm. That seems to have gone. But uh, the last weekend definitely was about that. And I think this event uh, last weekend fitted into that idea. So it might have been a last weekend. But there might be a better last weekend to come. Uh -huh. Well, that, is that done on, on speculation or is that on hope or is it done on you knowing it's going to happen? Well, it's a mixture. A mixture of the three, OK. A mixture of the three. Right, because OK. Because I think um, we don't know who announces that mm. next weekend will be a lost weekend. Somebody might have found it. They might have found it. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I see. Mm. Yes, so they, they might announce this is definitely the weekend. It's all been found. Yeah, it was lost, but we found it, and we got the police onto it, and they found it for us. Yeah, this, that was that's just a, a title to to a, a, a theme, isn't it? Really, it's not a reality thing. Ah, oh, okay. So if you say, you know, oh yes, next week we're going to have the wild show here, you know, from ten till twelve um, on a Thursday. Uh, on Thursday, yes. Yep. Okay. Yeah, well, we could say that. We could yes. say next week's going to be a very good show. Yes. <laughs> because um, <laughs> it will be very very organised. Okay, well, that's in the future. So we uh, don't right. know whether it's going to happen. No. We don't know if the world's going to blow up. No. We don't know anything at all until, no. it, until the actual day or just before we launch into the studio. Okay. So right. no, nothing's really true should we say until you're actually doing it no okay so <laughs> so we, we, for the moment we'll say most weekends are as you might expect but one of them will be lost at some time yep or looking back to the previous lost weekends which may or may not have included the last weekend can you explain what the lost weekend is then maybe we find it <laughs> <laughs> That's very difficult, mm. It's very difficult. Mm. I think it's um, it's in Exeter, or it could be somewhere else. Could be anywhere. Because we've already established we're we're prepared yeah. to go anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere there's a radio studio, right? To promote this idea as best we know, mm -hmm. what information available mm -hmm. in good faith. Um, I think it's got a sort of technical aspect and a, an arts aspect to it. Mm -hmm. Um, so it could rely on masses of data represented in some mm. manner and that data could represent the city in some sort of way mm -hmm. or the city as a county town mm -hmm. in our case so it might involve a, a very mm. wide area mm. and it's, uh, it's represented as, as music and uh, graphics You're right. that sort of thing Right. Um, is there a, a piece of paper which tells you about this or not? That it might uh, happen. Well, we've done a we've done a jingle about the lost playlist. <laughs> yes, <laughs> if you remember. Yes, I remember the one. Yeah. So that's new and improved now. Mm. We've, I've I've put little bits of sound clip. Mm. Um, oh, and hashtags. I think it's going to mm. work through hashtags. Right. Because I've discovered that you can put hashtags into. Uh, the title mm. on YouTube now mm. and they don't mind mm. um, yeah. sometimes when you get up to little tricks to get <laughs> people to look at your video yes. <laughs> uh, the authorities mm. fix the devices so that they, they sort of counteract it somehow All right. but I put hashtags into the title so I've got the snappily titled hash lost weekend hash extra 2025 hash minecraft hash mm. gameplay exeter mm-hmm that is that is um, a video now. So that's a, a collection they it's found, is it? Well, I hope people... you, if you put in one thing, yes, yeah, will it come up with it, all the things you've done you've done about well, look, this I'll weekend? Play, JT, I'm going to play. Mm. Um, there's a thing called night clubbing, which mm. is um, a chip tune. Right. I, I I tweeted to the people who were at Gameplay Exeter saying, please mm. suggest a, a chip tune because I did a I did a version of this. I mean, all it is is just a sort of loop. Mm. A looped walk um, from Queen Street into the Phoenix, out of the Phoenix, into the Ram, out of the Ram, back to where you started. Mm -hmm. Loop. And um, so there was a version on Saturday, a version on Sunday, and then on Monday I put them both together with night clubbing. So look, I'll, I'll just play you um, a little bit of night clubbing. I'll play you, but oh, it's 20 past, or 18 past. 
I'll play you two minutes of the, mm. a, or a minute or so of this. Okay. You'll get the idea of this. Okay. Chris has got things to say straight away. <laughs> uh, Will, you wanted to know what a laugh weekend was. I did, yes. <laughs> it's a weekend that can't be found. There you go. Ah. You see, that's a good right, on okay. the ground right. interpretation. So, a weekend that can't be found. Mm. Yeah. So was last weekend a lost weekend? <laughs> no, because no. I knew where it was. You, you did? You had yeah. it all the time? <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. So we, we blame him for losing that you one. Ha- you <laughs> had the weekend before, uh, Jay. Did I really? Oh, right, and okay. we had the weekend <laughs> before that. All oh, right. So we ha- all have a weekend together? Yeah. Yeah, I, d- I think this is right. I've just t- I've faded up. I'm experimenting with talking over things. But I think I think we can leave we'll leave a little bit of the um, the music going. Okay. So, Chris, what do you think about chip tunes? Do you think if the only thing that came out of the Lost Weekend was another chip tune, that that would be um, uh, a benefit for the musical world? What chips are it? Is it fried chips or wood, <laughs> or wood chips or yeah, oh, fish well, and chips. various various chips might have uh, might have uh, merged from all of this <laughs> so it's a chip chip a chip, a chip chip <laughs> yes we chip in then yeah. well anyway look I'm going to lose control of this unless Chris <laughs> needs us to talk little bits later on so can I just mention that if this was the last weekend it is going to get even better because as I understand it um, all the models that the RAM Museum have are in Minecraft, but only on uh, Windows at the moment, or Microsoft. But they're going to be available on um, phones. iTunes will have it, and um, the, the other one, Android, as well. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> the other one. That's a new the, one. Uh, the... the... <laughs> I think the superior version... <laughs> Uh, well, yes, but we don't have to argue about that. That's the wind-up one. All we, all we, all we need to say is that um, Exeter—that's to say, the Hedgeland model, uh, which is from about 1820—and also a Tudor model, and a Roman model, and a 2025 model—they're all going to be available on phones or devices, mobile um, devices, um, sometime then. soon. Okay. So we might announce another Lost Weekend, <laughs> whenever that's available, and see if any of them help us to move around. Okay. Do we have a map for that one, so if we oh, are yeah, lost? Oh, yeah, I think so. Yes, I think I we need a map I think, for when we're lost. Yeah, I think you can download a map as of 1820. All right. <laughs> so that might, that might help you. <laughs> Okay. Well, uh, what else was I going? To, uh, there was something else I was going to ask about, but I think that I think that's it. I think I think we've we've covered the whole situation. It's going to come to an end there. So I think I'm going to play the um, I'm going to play the undercover hippie. 
now and Chris will take over very shortly and uh, we might come back we're going we're gonna to see if any of these um, any of these hashtags find something else as well later on so um, the Undercover Hippie is going to be in Exeter on the 10th of April which is a Wednesday which so the weekend might be still going on we don't know for sure uh